tree we're looking at here is in the family Cupressaceae in the genus Thuya, and its specific epitaph is Occidentalis. So the species name is Thuya Occidentalis. This is northern white cedar, sometimes referred to as Arborvita. Arborvita is a type of conifer, but it is not a pine, even though it has green foliage. And we're going to take a closer look at the foliage and some other identifying characteristics. Here the bark looks gray, but if you see it in person, often the bark will have more of a brown, reddish color to it. And it peels in these very stringy, fibrous sections. And so it has a, almost a peeling or exfoliating appearance to it as it develops. And this peeling or exfoliation starts as the tree is fairly young. It might initially break off in small plates, but eventually it develops a very fibrous texture to it. Here's the foliage. Unlike needles that you would have on pines, spruces, or firs, here the foliage has more of a scale-like texture to it. And they'll often be described as two-ranked or three-ranked, and they're talking about the arrangement of the patterns on the individual scales. You'll see this lighter green tip versus the little darker as you go in. The lighter green is simply the newer growth. Here are the cones of northern white cedar. You can see that they are born on the twig and typically point upward. They have a few woody cone scales, and on the inside is where the seeds would be. You can see that they're not particularly large, but can be a good way to identify this in the landscape. Here we can see the fuller extent of arborvita, or northern white cedar. In urban landscapes, they tend to be used more as a shrub and can be pruned or used around borders of buildings. You can see that this arborvita has a lot of open spaces where the foliage is not very dense. That can happen if you plant these in a shadier spot. They'll take full sun and will take some shade, but any shading will reduce the thickness and density of foliage. In their natural setting, these can be much larger trees and can grow to significant age, hundreds to potentially a thousand or so years old.